The Make and Maker movement is in full swing. But do you even know what that is? Puerto NBC's Alexa Rodriguez joins us now with more on the initiative and how it's affecting the economy. There isn't one specific definition for a maker, but after speaking with a few of them, they all agreed. A maker is someone who creates. They range from engineers to artisans, and with the right support, they can make a big impact on Macon's economy. What will help jumpstart our local economy? The College Hill Alliance believes the answer to that question is Macon Makers. We have pursued high-tech, high-growth companies, and we have a lot of agencies in the region who do that, but no one was focusing on makers. But what exactly is that? A maker in general ranges from an artisan to artist to engineers to local craftspeople. A maker is really just someone who creates. The group wants to create jobs, which they believe will help stimulate the economy. We're looking to take those people who have innovative ideas, give them the resources and tools to go inspire themselves to build. The Make and Maker campaign is a way for all of these innovators to connect with each other. And Spark Macon is the place to do it. It's a space where makers can come together to work on their craft with the tools they need. A working 3D printer. Um, we'll have our wood shop and our metal shop going. We'll have a number of 3D labs set up, um, the music space. That's just the beginning. As the membership grows, they'll add more tools and resources based on the group's needs. We want to see Macon on the map for creating products that locals enjoy and that you see outside of the state. For many of these artists and craftsmen, what starts as a small hobby could turn into something much bigger. Spark Macon officially opens on December 5th, but makers, makers will be hosting community open houses in the Cherry Street location every first Friday. We're told the Macon Maker Festival will be sometime in April 2015.